back. We're getting to a part in the course now where you're going to start making contact with other people and making conversation with them. And I want to remind you that usually you're talking with an ego. 98.7% of people are offline 98.7% of the time. And when I say offline, what I really mean is that they are unconscious. They're so caught up in the problems inside of their mind that that's all that they can think about. They're offline. That means that you only have a few seconds to grab their attention and make a lasting impression. And I want to show you how to do that. So I want to talk to you a little bit more about our unconscious mind. Our unconscious mind is always on. It's always filtering the outside world and only presenting things to our consciousness that are relevant. It's always concerned about what it needs, what it can get, and what it's going to cost, what it could lose. You and I are not any different than that. But when you're speaking with someone and they're offline, you're speaking with their unconscious mind. And because it's always filtering, it's always judging to be relevant or irrelevant. And it goes through the process very, very quickly. So inevitably, as you're talking with people, you're going to be presented with this question right here. So what do you do? Right now is a good time to have your act together and know how to respond to this question. But what their unconscious mind is really asking is this question. Do you have what I need? Because it's always constantly on the lookout for something that it needs. So I'd like to introduce you to this principle right here. K-I-S-S. -S. Keep it super simple. Super simple is going to win the game every time here. It's going to give that ego exactly what it needs to hear so that it can make a quick judgment about whether it's needed or not. It's also going to let you make a quick decision yourself if this is a client that meets your demographic and somebody that you want to work with because you don't want to keep going on talking to these people when they really don't have an interest in what it is that you have to offer. So back to this one liner again. We want to focus on this part of our statement right here. And yes, we want to make it even more simple than we've already made it. We want to make it just as simple as we possibly can. So we can get rid of that first part. They already know who we are and they've already established that through our communication. And this one right down here is some kind of a variable that we might change depending on our conversation with that person. So we don't really need to say that right now either. We just need to come up now with a very good description, a very quick description of what we're an expert at. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this topic, subtopic right here, and we're gonna combine it with the solution or the problem we've come back with and then some kind of a qualifier you know one of these statements right here so in this example right here I've taken the topic emotional a solution that we came up with release and then a qualifier specialist I am an emotional release specialist very powerful very straight to the point. You've taken your topic, your solution, and your qualifier and put them all into one little sentence. Super easy for the ego to digest. Once you've made this statement, there is a good chance that you've perked their interest. And they might follow up with something like, what is an emotional release therapist? That's the perfect question because now you know you have their attention. You could even get more simple. I'm a plumber. Well, instantly their mind is going to go tracing back to see if they need a plumber. Maybe they even have a friend who needs a plumber. But you've told them exactly what you do. No explanation needed about what kind of problems the plumbers can fix. Enough said. Even if they didn't need a plumber right now, they've saved it for later. They'll remember next time they need a plumber or one of their friends needs a plumber. They'll know who to call. So remember that when someone comes and asks you, what do you do? 
what they're really saying is do I have a need for what you have to offer and don't be offended if they don't have a need for it right now because that doesn't mean that they won't have a need for it in the future don't take a mental note so I want to talk to a little bit more about how the human mind works because the unconscious mind is always looking to solve a problem and it needs to make quick decisions and the reason why is it needs to keep us safe it needs to keep only relevant information presented to us and it has like a yes or no thumbs up or thumbs down kind of a response going on and so it asks is this something that I need what is the pain that I have right now it listens to what you have to say very quickly and then it says no thanks not for me right now or I might be interested tell me some more if that is their response then you got to remember that you're still on trial here and so you still want to keep it really simple if you start getting too descriptive about what it is you do they're gonna turn you off and say not for me if you start involving words that make it seem like work like they're gonna have to go do something in order to get fixed they're gonna turn you off again if you don't speak plain to them and use simple words and not trendy words that are used in your industry and nobody else understands you might turn them off too if you keep using those kind of words or if you just you don't know quite what to say and you're just kind of mumbling around you don't know exactly what to say next then they're not going to believe that you know much about what it is that you're that you're a specialist at and even though they're trying to pay attention to you they'll probably lose interest in what you have to say so I want to talk about this other side right here you know and they say you know tell me more about what it is that you do because what they're probably going to do at that time is say you know I have this condition maybe you could help me you know my toilets plugged maybe you could come over and take a look at it you know I've been struggling with um, emotional release myself maybe you could help me or my sister really struggles with her emotions maybe you could help her and so at that point right there they're giving you some information they are revealing their pain and that's exactly what we want them to do so that we know how to talk to them and so this is a good time to shut your mouth don't explain any more about what you do necessarily but ask more questions like really you know so what's going on with your toilet <laughs> listen intently to what they have to say and they'll give you this description of what's going on whether it's their toilet or whether it's some other problem that they have in their life so if they meet their your demographic and they're a perfect fit then you can use that one liner you already came up with I help people dot 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 right but really you're gonna have more information about them at this time and you can insert the blanks really I've helped women her sister right with that problem that she just explained several times I'm an expert at it now you have really got their interest and there's a very good chance that this new contact will turn into one of your clients and so now right now you've gone down these steps they've answered you know yes yes and now they want more information right you're tempted to jump into a conversation with them but stop right there is a time to stop your conversation and schedule a next step so stop explaining I know you'll be tempted to do it but don't explain any more about what it is you do no more descriptions don't explain how you do it I guarantee you'll talk them out of it this is why you have a course to offer yes I offer a course for this now is the time to do more discovery ask more questions to qualify them give them some examples of people who have had their pain that you've been able to help tell them why you're doing what you're doing it's because you once had the pain 
and now you've learned how to overcome it. Give them some examples to look at, but avoid the temptation to explain how you do it. So congratulations. Sign them up for your course. Oh, wait, you don't have a course yet. I'm getting ahead of myself, right? You don't have a course, but you are building a course that you could really use some good input on, and that's why you're contacting them right now. So now it's time for you to do some market research and not only just have that one person you contact, but contact several people and discover their pain and then come up with a common pain for a few people so that you can build the perfect course to solve their pain. See you in the next video.